morning. Today it's the 13th of 30 of the August. And today Daddy are doing the bicycles ready and now we are starting on a nice day because the sun are shining and blue sky. So that is very good. And it smells of very nice fresh bread from the kitchen here. So, so <laughs> we are very maybe we are glad to have some good breakfast here. Also, yeah, and now we are on a guest house. Near the guest house we are on, and this is the little cat that just are uh, saying noise every every time. And this is the little cat. Okay, good morning. So we're back on the bikes. That was nice to stay here. So we start the day today having a, a shower <laughs> clean clothes and being fed so uh, and a nice rest in a warm bed it's amazing it's getting cold already here the guy who owns the hotel said the autumn is starting already so it's amazing to think just so short time ago three weeks ago was in a heat wave there in uzbekistan and now it's already starting to get cold but uh, still at 1800 meters so maybe that's why also but uh now we're back on the bikes today, we're actually going to Isiko Lake today, if that's possible. So we just go into the town here, get some food for lunch and then uh, back on the road. Over here it's the sealed uh, asphalt road, or well, some kind of asphalt road, maybe a little bit bumpy. But, uh, let's see how it goes, okay, let's get The sky might have the stars The sun might have the moon This is the center of Kochkor, so uh, some nice big mountains behind us there, snow on the top. Let's do a bit of shopping here, it's a bit quiet, kind of supermarket here. We'll do a bit of shopping, get some lunch and then we'll be on the road. So it doesn't take long to generate a crowd when we stop at some places like this. But, uh, this time it wasn't asking where we were from, it was more asking about the bikes. First time we've had that, a lot of questions about where they're made and where all the parts come from and how they all work. That's the first time we've had that. Usually they're interested in where we're from and where we're going. But, uh, here it was about the bikes. But, uh, okay, now we're on the road. Let's uh, see what the road here looks like to Isikun. Left. This is actually a reservoir. There's not much water left in it this time of the year. for lunch 
This river, this leads to Lake Isikul. It'll be about 20 kilometers away from the lake. Now. That's not bad. So, okay, let's uh, have some We're looking today, we can even find bread, butter, and cheese. That's not so often we've been able to find a shop that sells any of those kind of things. <laughs> we'll sit here near the river. We have to see in the distance from the mountains we're going to be seeing. Like you should do later today. So now we just have a nice lunch here and get back on the road. Okay, back on the bikes after lunch. Fairly flat, slightly downhill road now to Lake Isikul. So uh, let's uh, see what that's like. We're 20 kilometers now after lunch. Not too bad. Extremely windy today, but we've been lucky it's been there. Truck after truck just transporting coal for them. Holiday resort, doesn't I feel like it with this wind Let's go out, the windiest day ever. Yeah. 